Lawrence Tribe, a professor of constitutional law at Harvard Law School, slammed President Donald Trump's son-in-law Jared Kushner in a tweet this weekend, suggesting he would soon be exposed as a traitor Sharing a long Twitter thread by attorney and academic Seth Abramson, who is also a columnist for Newsweek, Tribe on Saturday referred to Kushner as smarmy, slimy, smiley Doc Kushner, who is married to Ivanka Trump, was appointed by the president as a senior White House advisor in January 2017 Jared Kushner of 666 Fifth Avenue is the beating heart of this unprecedentedly corrupt and deeply evil administration, Tribe wrote He'll eventually be exposed as an insatiably greedy Benedict Arnold. Tribe is referring to the infamous General Benedict Arnold, an early hero of the American Revolution against the British, who later switched sides and betrayed his young nation in 1779. His name has since become synonymous with the word traitor, according to history. Abramson's thread, shared by Tribe, laid out a case for why Kushner is allegedly the greatest domestic danger to America The attorney and columnist made the claim after many months of research for a forthcoming book titled Proof of Conspiracy Many former U.S. government officials know for a fact that what I've just said is true, Abramson wrote in his first tweet in the series Kushner is going to get us into a devastating war with Iran. Jared, single-handedly Jared, to make money for himself sick, the attorney wrote. I'll say now that Jared more richly deserves to be in prison for the rest of his life than Manafort, and Manafort richly deserves it, he argued. That's how bad this is. Don't believe anything you hear from Kushner's attorney or from Kushner. Ever. The latter will always be lying to you, and the former will either be lying to you or will have been lied to by his client sick, Abramson continued. He then pointed to the reports surrounding Kushner's top secret security clearance, which he allegedly was granted despite the disapproval of intelligence agencies and top administration officials. Trump circumventing our intelligence community to give his son-in-law that access is the shibboleth that made the current danger to America possible sick, Abramson warned. Our foreign policy is totally off the rails in a way that is dangerous, and the sole reason for this is the Kushner-Trump axis Our values have been betrayed in ways that we may shortly feel so keenly our heads will spin We need whistleblowers to blow their whistles now, he said. Abramson also argued that Kushner should go to prison for a very, very long time Trump's former chief of staff John Kelly and top intelligence officials opposed granting Kushner access to viewing sensitive top-secret materials pertaining to the nation's security, according to a recent report from The New York Times However, the president reportedly ordered his son-in-law be granted the clearance, allegedly disregarding the objections 